Call of Dragons puts so much lore into their game, and I ignore all of it, but not today. Today, I'm gonna dive into the villages, listen in on the conversations being had by all of the characters inside of this universe, and kind of see the depths of the game. So let's dive in and start off with this level four village. A worried looking merchant asks for help. There's been a great storm out at sea. He sighs, there's no way all my shipments of mithril will arrive in time. If I break my contract with the Iron Eye clan, they'll turn me to stone. What do I do? Well, we ask the nearby elves for help, of course. Not a bad idea, said the merchant. The only thing is, I'm not sure where to even find elves in Belleron. And anyway, the relations with dwarves aren't the friendliest. You interrupt them and tell them to stop prevaricating or he'll get turned to stone. I've never seen that word before. Oh, another village. Let's dive in and see what is to be said inside of this one. A dwarf in this village is selling coupons, claiming that presenting them to any Star Quench clan merchant will net you 50% of all products. He weighed down on the vast collection of gold and silver chains and jewelry. Something about this seems off. You know we gotta catch him off guard and tear off the beard. Who doesn't choose that answer? The dwarf covers his face and yells obscenities at you in voices seemingly an octave higher. He's not a dwarf at all, but a goblin. You're heading to a dwarven bank to deposit some gold. The queue for the bank stretches all the way down the street. Dwarven guards with expressionless faces are trying to maintain order. What shall we choose? Well, of course we're going to wait patiently. You spent half an hour chatting with others in the queue before you finally made it to the bank entrance. Just as you're about to step inside, the Dwarven guards start dispersing the crowd. Closing time, they bellow. Come back tomorrow. War dancers, you slip into this Evelyn town disguised in a hooded cloak. The town war dancers are currently practicing their swordsmanship. You've come all the way from Tamaris for just such a sparring opportunity. You suggest a friendly duel to a nearby elf who responds contemptuously. You are far from a worthy opponent, human. I suggest you take your business elsewhere. How'd you like my elf voice? Well, that seems reasonable. I'll be going then. The elves give you a curt <laughs> nod in response before resuming training. You leave, perhaps you still have a way to go before you can consider fighting a war dance. Morning exercise. There's a fresh earthy smell in the morning air of this elven village. You see an elf doing a series of stretching exercises. You're impressed with the flexibility. Noticing you, he asks if you'd like to join him. No better way to start the day than getting up early, he says. Inspired me for some fitness. I'll be happy to join, of course. You copy the elves' stretches. At first you feel relaxed, but soon break out in a sweat and your muscles start to ache. By the end, you're sore that you could barely move. Dedicated follower of fashion. A young halfling seems to have gotten into an argument with a human owner of his clothes shop. It seems that the owner is a celebrated designer whose clothes are the latest fashion across Belgium. The halfling wants to buy some, but can't find anything suited to her height. Chastise the owner for anti-halfling discrimination. That seems like things people would do these days, by the way. Just who the heck are you, reports the owner. I'm running a business here and I clearly don't need any advice from you. Just look at the way you're dressed. Both of you, get out of my store. Please drink responsibly. A clearly inebriated dwarf swaggers towards you, clutching an overflowing mug of tuna rye beer. You watch helplessly as he raises his mug, about to spill his pint on your finest clothes. Ah. Actually, I need to get more coffee. I'll be right back. Clink your mug with his and drink a toast. The dwarf happily clinks his mug with yours. Let me buy thee a pint of Tone Stagger, he roars. Clearly having a little bit of fun with lore inside of Call of Dragons today. I hope you found it enjoyable and make sure that you're back here so you don't miss out on our next video.